next up, we're going to have our uh, large city profile group, Esau, Marcus, and Daryl. So Esau, you can go ahead, go ahead and get us started. Uh, thanks, Taylor. Hi, my name is Esau Parker, and today I'll be showing the population changes in the top five cities across Alabama in the last 10 years. The top five cities are Birmingham, Montgomery, Mobile, Huntsville, and Tuscaloosa. As you can see from this visual showing Birmingham's population estimates from 2010 to 2019, the city's overall population has stayed nearly the same, only dropping about 2,900 over the last decade, bringing the total population estimates from 212,000 to 209,000. Next, we have Montgomery and Mobile. Uh, Montgomery is one of the cities that displays a more noticeable decrease in population over the last 10 years, suffering a loss of over 7,000 residents, bringing the population from around 205,000 down to around 198,000. Like Montgomery, the census data from Mobile has also been showing consistent decline in overall population, dropping from 194,000 in 2010 and decreasing each year to 188,000 in 2019. Next, I'll show Huntsville and Tuscaloosa. Huntsville is one of Alabama's growing cities as shown from its continuous increase of residents over the last decade, gaining around 2,000 to 3,000 each year, going from 180,000 residents to over 200,000. Tuscaloosa and Huntsville in comparison to Montgomery and Mobile are opposites of each other. One, uh, one pair is showing a continuous decline while the other shows a steady increase in population. In the last 10 years, Tuscaloosa's population has peaked over the 100,000 mark, starting at around 90,000 and increasing to over 101,000. For a little more detail in this change in population, I'll hand it off to Marcus. Thank you. Thank you, Esau. So in this presentation, I will be going over comparisons in the population between counties. I will be showing a breakdown of a few different counties with a top city in each county and showing data to showcase why the population has shown changes over time. Here we have six of the top counties in the state of Alabama. I am showing this chart to give a comparison and not only numbers, but in the increase and decline over the years. I've made three points in a 10 year period to show what the population has been like over time. Blue represents the beginning of the time span starting at 2010, orange represents the middle for the year of 2015, and gray represents the end of the 10 year period for the year of 2019. In these next slides, I will showcase the three counties that have the top three cities in the state of Alabama. Montgomery County is the fifth largest county in Alabama. Montgomery City resides in this county with a population of 200,603 for the year 2020. However, Montgomery City's population is projected to fall under 200,000 for the first time since 1999. This is partially due to Montgomery being close to reaching full employment and not having enough jobs to support migration to the city. With the lack of funding for education and an abundance of special needs and poverty-stricken people, the city's reputation has become well-known, leading to lack of migration and people moving from the area. Madison County is the third largest county in the state of Alabama and is home to now the largest city in Alabama. Huntsville, Alabama has the highest city population in Alabama with a count for 2020 being at 215,006. Huntsville has had a rapid rise in population numbers over the years due to its strong employment growth, steady home sales, and its educational background. The city's employment numbers have already returned to pre-COVID levels, where the U.S. is still struggling to get back to that point. The city is constantly expanding, whether it's with housing or jobs, and is continuing to show rapid growth even to this day. And Jefferson County is the largest county in Alabama and is home to the second largest city in the state. Birmingham has a population of 200,733 for the year of 2020 and has had more of a decline than increase over the years. This is due to the death rate being higher than the birth rate and migration from the city being at an all time high. These problems paired with the crime rate, failing education and unaffordable housing has been causing the number to fluctuate between positive and negative with the negative being the bigger portion. Although there are talks of turning Birmingham back into the magic city, if change doesn't happen soon, the decline could continue to be greater than the increase. Now we'll be going, giving it over to Darryl so that he may expand on the income-based changes in some of these cities. Thank you, Marcus. As Marcus said, my name is Daryl, and I'll briefly be discussing some visualizations created using U.S. Census data from 2010 to 2019. Um, 
The first visual that I'm going to look at is a box plot of income brackets for residents of the seven largest cities in Alabama, uh, Birmingham, Huntsville, Mobile, Montgomery, Tuscaloosa, Hoover, and Dothan. Um, and on that y-axis, you'll see a percentage which um, breaks down the residents into the income brackets. Uh, they start at less than 10000 and go all the way to $200,000 or more. Uh, these block, box plots will break up that data into quartiles. So you can see that distribution, not only of income, but over time as those um, incomes move. Uh, a few key pieces of information that I wanna point out are around the top and the bottom. Uh, the numbers in the, the lowest bracket on the next visual uh, show income brackets or income buckets of up to 10,000 and from 10,000 to 15,000. So this would be anybody below $15,000 a year annually. And this is households. So household incomes under 15,000. Um, and what that looks like from 2011 to 2019. And it's kind of sad to say that it hasn't changed that much at that, at that bottom level. And we've seen quite a bit of, I guess, news and headlines around um, the Magic City and, and this, um, a lot of things coming here, but what we see is the income inequality or the um, that bottom rung of incomes kind of being static throughout the state and especially in, in Birmingham, it looks like that, that bottom bracket actually has uh, more people in it now in, in 2019 than it did in, in 2011, although the percentage is slightly better. And, uh, as Marcus said, the, we just need to make some changes and uh, focus on uh, income inequality and getting a educated, even if not traditionally educated workforce together. And uh, that's it. Back to you, Taylor.